Well, we have a first alert day that's in effect through noon Friday as we get first the snow and then the cold and the wind coming into the QCA. As we finish off our Wednesday evening, you'll see that it remains snowy. We've got plenty of snow to get through. This gets us through the overnight and the snow will finally start tapering off during our Thursday morning. And even then with some leftover cloud cover through the morning hours, we can't rule out a flurry or a light snow shower from time to time. But later in the day, especially the afternoon, we should see some clearing coming in from the west, but that sets up the stage for a clear night uh, Thursday night into Friday morning, and that's when our lows, the actual air temperatures are destined to go below zero with wind chills as cold as minus 20. How much snow? Well, generally about one to three inches across much of the area. Higher amounts generally from the Metro Quad Cities and the Mississippi Valley to the east where uh, two to four inches could fall. Yeah, that does show a little bit of an overlap from three to two inches on that line, which is never a fine line when you're forecasting snow. It's going to be a little bit fun. But I think uh, most of us get in that range of one to three inches with the four inch amounts closer to Peoria. Uh, here's a look at the wind chills Thursday morning, anywhere between about zero and minus 10, maybe a little bit colder than that in eastern portions of Iowa. 15 are Thursday high. You're going to have to cross your fingers to get that warm uh, with northwest winds at 15 gusting to 25. Mostly cloudy skies, occasional snow showers, mainly early. And look at those wind chills. Even in the heart of the afternoon, five above is about as good as they're going to get to 10 below. And as we look at our seven day forecast, well, we're at 19 on Friday and that's after starting off at minus four. Temperatures do moderate this weekend back to the 30s, but Saturday we can't rule out a few snowflakes. Sunday looks to be partly sunny and then with uh, a cooler trend in our latest models, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, we're only looking at highs in the 30s, perhaps some snow uh, mixing with rain on Monday going over to all snow on Tuesday, not looking at a huge system there.